Hey everybody, welcome to the 30 Day Sober Challenge. Zach Mathers here. Day 20. Um, I like 20. I like day 20. Day 20 is a really fun day. I, I think I just like 20 because uh, 20 was always my, my jersey, my soccer number. I don't know. I have a thing with number 20. So today is a good day and I'm excited about it. I am glad that you were watching the video. I hope the last two days when we began to write the letter to the imposter and began to replace the beliefs that you are here and you, you're in it. And here's what you guys are gonna do today. We are going to take the biggest belief that you have, the negative belief that you have from yesterday. I want you to pull that list up, look at it, and go, what is, what is the biggest one? What is the one that hinders me the most that I have about myself? What is the biggest one that's gonna probably drive me back to drinking if I don't face it? What is that belief? Find it on the piece of paper, and then we're going to take that belief and we're going to begin today to begin to listen and replace it with truth. What I mean by this is, so for me, uh, I believe in God. So I, I believe that things are spiritual. I believe that you and I were created by him and that we are spiritual beings and spiritual creatures and that there's a God that chooses to go, I want to talk to you, but what happens in our world, what happens in our life is we get so consumed, so busy, so distracted that we don't create space and time to listen. And so today we're just going to listen. And I want, I want to let you know though, if you have a really hard time with the God word, um, I want you to replace it just with love because I know, um, there's a lot of wounds out there, wounds from the church, wounds from family and religion. Uh, there's a lot of hurt. And so I want to invite you, if, if that's you, if you have hurt and wounding from the word God or Jesus, then what I want you to do is I want you just to replace it today with love. Um, because I believe that God is big enough for us to call him whatever, whatever name works for us and for him to hear and understand and listen. So, here's, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to walk you through this today, uh, meaning that it's almost like an interactive practice. Uh, so there's going to just be periods of silence while you're answering. So don't just keep staring at the screen when I'm like awkwardly be, being here. Like the question will pop up on the screen that I just asked, and it's just going to be there for a minute. But what I want you to do when the question is there so I want you to actually get your journal out and answer it right now because we're just going to guide through this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I want you for a minute right now just to quiet your mind. Um, I want you to just take a couple big breaths in and out. That's so what I'm going to say. God, we, we invite you here to this as we're doing this right now. And yeah, I, I ask that no other voice is heard inside of our heads. No, nothing is heard inside of our minds but you. And that as we go through this, um, that you are a God of healing and you are a God that reveals. Um, so God, as I ask questions, I just pray that you prompt what you want to say to each person as they're going through this. So the first question, guys, is um, very simple. I want you to write, and if you don't want to write this even right now, if you just want to go through it and write it out later, you can watch this video over and over again. Um, but I want you for a minute just to go, come up with that belief. What, what is the belief that you have about yourself, the negative belief you have about yourself that you're holding on to? Okay? So you got it, right? Now do this for me. Just just close your eyes and you just, even just listen to this if you can. Um, so picture picture that belief. Um, when was the first time in your life that that belief became reality? When was the first time that belief showed up inside of your head? When was the first time... I want you to picture it. I mean, I want you to go back to that space where you were when all of a sudden you began to believe that about yourself. 
Okay, I'm going to give you a second just to just to get there. Just go there. Picture it. I want you to um, you got you got to get fully there. So I want you to smell what you smelled there. I want you to feel it. I know this can be really hard. Um, I just want you just to go to that exact space. And if if you don't know what it is, just ask right now. Just go. Um, God, w when was the very first time? that I began to believe this about myself. Okay, now that you're there, don't just stay there. Um, and as you're picturing whatever it is, that circumstance that's happening, right? As you're, as you're moving through it, as you're picturing it, um, I want you to picture this image of, of God or love there with you. Okay? So if you're in this room or you're out you're in this space, wherever, you, wherever it is that you're at, I want you to just, just say, God, where are you at here? So where are you? And then I want you to, so now you see see him there, or you see love there now, right? Um, I want you to talk to him for a minute. Maybe you need to ask him the simple question, why didn't you help me here? Or why didn't you show up and see what he says? Listen. Ask and listen. And then the big question with this, so you're there, God's there now with you. And I want you to ask the question, um, God, what do you say about me? Like, who do you call me? What is, what is my name that you call me? Not this belief, not what the world tells me I am, but what is this name you call me? Just listen and trust it, you guys. Okay. Okay. So I want to challenge you to live into that. There is a belief that you've developed about yourself that's not true. And then we just took and replaced it with what God believes about you to be true. I want you to hold on to that. Go write that down somewhere. Go make it big so you see it. For me, I remember the first one of the first times I really began to do this and uh my belief was, the big belief that held me stuck a lot was that I was a failure, right? That I, that I couldn't. Um, that I screwed up too big. And then when I began to go, God, who do you call me? What is the name what you have for me? What, what, what is my identity? What is my identity? Not that. Not the fact that I struggled with alcohol. Not the fact that I had an affair. Not the fact that I screwed up in so many ways. But what is my identity? And I heard, first time I heard uh, cultural architect. And I had heard that from a book or a pastor years and years ago. And it, did, it kind of went in there, one area out the other. And all of a sudden I heard the term again. And I was like, huh. So that's what you call me. Because a cultural architect, to me at least, is uh, somebody that likes to create. Create something. And to shift culture. And that's what I love to do. I love. I love, I don't care what you, environment you put me in, I love to look at the culture that existed and go, how do we make this more loving, more compassionate, more kind? How do we move this to a better way? And that's what I love. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we are exploring with the 30 Day Sober Challenges. That brings life to me. And that's my identity. 
But I couldn't live into that if I still lived into the, my past belief of who I was. So whatever was spoken to you today, I want you to believe it. Share it with me. Write it down. Share it with a Facebook group. Um, because that is who you're going to step into. And guys, let me tell you one more thing. You can do this over and over and over again. That was just a very simple couple question ones, but we, you can dig deeper with the different kind of questions. Um, if you are somebody that goes, can I, can I do this more with you, Zach? Yes, you can. Um, I'm, I'm serious about it. Schedule a time and we'll just literally do this over the phone or over Zoom. Um, I would happily do this with you. So again, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Day 20. We're 10 days away. Um, so I am. I'm, I'm just extremely proud of you. Make sure to join the Zoom. Join the groups. Connect, connect, connect because you're not doing this alone. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later.